Hey everyone, this is Ken and today we're going to be doing a tutorial guys on a brand new cactus farm. What's great about this guys is the fact that this thing is able to produce over a stack every 30 seconds, which is crazy. I mean the amount that this thing produces and the fact that this is lag free just works so well. Now, as you can see, guys, we have the shader and texture pack on the bottom left corner here, but not to worry. We're going to be doing this whole video on the standard default pack because I don't want no one to get confused and I really want this to make this as clear as possible. Now, we do have a lever here that controls the system to make it on and off. And the second we turn it on, guys, you really see how fast this really produces. I mean, you're really getting a stack every 30 seconds because what's happening here is the cactus is popping every three seconds which is amazing. Now enough talking, let's jump right into it. Now pause the video guys, we will be having the measurements on the left hand side, but I'm going to create the general structure of this build and have you decorate it the way you want it. Now, in the middle, you're going to have one large chest with a hopper behind it and two hoppers going towards the first one on both sides. Now once you've done that, you're going to place one, two, three, four, five, then you're going to bring one block up and extend this back seven blocks right across. Now, once you've gone to the seventh, bring it up one more time. And of course, another seven straight to the back. Then you're going to fill this up five blocks wide. And you should get this kind of result. Perfect. Now, once you've done that, you're going to place some glass panes right on top of the hoppers. And you're going to place a block on the side of it and extend that right across. And of course, add another row on top and extend that also right across to the other side to get to that point. And on the third block here, guys, what you basically want to do is create a nice wall because we're going to create a nice water flow going from the back all the way to the front. So you're going to really just wrap this around. Now, I'm using glass, but like I said, guys, you could really use any block you want. And I really want you guys to decorate this to your specific style. Like I said, you can put this anywhere inside the ground, above ground, in the sky, doesn't matter. Now, once you've got this kind of look, let me just change the clear glass to the default glass so you can really get a good visual here. We're going to add some water sources, just five right across on the back end. Perfect. Now also on the back end, we're going to go right here in the middle. We're going to place a block there and extend this blocks all the way up exactly eight blocks tall. Then you're going to place a block right here in the back, right there, delete that one. Now you're going to get your rest on torches. You can place it right there, delete the one on top, place another one, delete that one, place another one, delete that one. And of course have this awesome torch tower. Then you can place a block on both sides where the redstone torch is at. And on one side, you can place redstone dust and a repeater going outwards, like so, on two ticks. Now you can place a sticky piston right in the front there with a slime block and an observer block on the front of it, like so, going outwards. And this time, one on top of it so that it can activate that piston. Then once again, repeat that same identical design on this side. So add your sticky piston with a slime block, an observer block, and an observer block like so in the same formation. Now you're going to place the block right there, and we're going to place a lever. You want to place some redstone dust underneath exactly 15 blocks long. Now once you've done that, you're going to place a block right in front of that redstone block. Well, redstone dust <laughs> with a redstone torch in front of it and extend some more redstone dust so you get to that block right there which will turn it off activating the pistons that we have in front see that's what's going to really control the system now you're going to place a block there right in front of that observer and one on the side and run underneath and you're going to extend 15 blocks going towards the front perfect now, once you've done that, you're going to add 15 pieces of redstone dust starting from here and, of course, straight to the front. And then you're going to get your regular pistons 
and you're gonna place it right there, leaving a space in between going this back and forth pattern, see? Great, now whatever you do on one side, guys, you're gonna repeat this on the opposite end. So place a block there and one on the side, delete that one, and a block underneath and an additional 15 blocks, and of course, repeat the same pattern. Fantastic. Now, once you've done that, guys, place a block right where that wrestling torch is at and extend that all the way to your parallel to the last piston. Then you're gonna delete the blocks right in between. See? And delete these two. Perfect. Then you're gonna add one sand block right on top. And before you even add the cactus, we gotta add our fences. So this is the best way to do it. Place a block there, leave a space, a block there, leave a space, another block. And of course, you should have a total of four blocks. And on top of it, that's when you're gonna add your fence and delete the block underneath. Perfect. And the final touch here, guys, is to add your cactus right across the board on top of each piece of sand. Now, once you activate the lever, you should get this kind of back and forth pattern and as you can see, guys, they're all going to be popping, creating the zero tick effect, and it's going to work beautifully. Now, all you have to do is decorate it to your style, and the design is complete. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.